York's classic rock, Q1043. It's our pleasure to welcome David Duchovny to our studio. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Thanks for having me. Hi. Oh, it's good so morning. it's so good to have you here. Now, um, obviously, you are extraordinarily well known as a very, very successful film and television actor. Okay. You're also pretty well known as a best-selling author. All right. And I'm uh, to, I, find, I find I'm trying to make my voice deeper to, to, no, to hang with. I can't get, I can't get can't down do there. It. Come on. <laughs> but what I've been able to glean from the response that we've received from uh, people who listen to the cue so far is that while there's unanimity as to uh, recognition of you and your uh, talents, mm-hmm. there is not a high level of. Uh, knowledge mm-hmm. that you also right. are a songwriter, a musician, band leader. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's really been a, a, a late in life uh, turn for me. You know, I started, started making music about eight years ago now. And uh, it's really, it's like a mom and pop operation for us. It mm-hmm. was never, it was never anything that I thought I would share with any kind of public. It was really something that I started Honestly, to amuse myself, and as an actor, you have a lot of downtime in your trailer. So I thought, oh, I'm going to learn how to play guitar. And then also I wanted my kids to play guitar, and I wanted to kind of model for them. Because you're always telling your kids, you know, practice, 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 and mm-hmm. it's hard to learn a skill. Right. I was like, well, I'm going to put my money where I'm at. They're going to see me struggle and suck at something mm-hmm. for a while, mm-hmm. and, then, and then, you know, kind of break through. But then you don't. Well, no, no, you, you can withhold your judgment, uh, uh, but you know, at first you do, and and also just that you can, that you can, you know, music is just universal, and and uh, you know, people will say, you know, this is an actor playing music or whatever, and I, I guess that's a legitimate thing, but but I would say just just listen to the songs. Well, no, you know? you're, you, you know, you you limit yourself by saying you're an actor playing music yeah, because you're right. an artist who acts and writes and sings. Well, they're all different and, modes of expression, right? right. So. So I just happened to stumble upon this one a little later than I stumbled on the other one. So but, that, that's what I feel like is true, that but, you are an artist looking for modes of expression. But there were signs early on because uh, you uh, uh, wrote poetry at a yeah. very yeah. young age, yeah. which helps with yeah. writing lyrics. Well, lyrics lyrics are a very specific kind of poetry, very interesting. And when I, when I came to write, to put words on, on music, to write lyrics... I was really faced with the difference between a, a poem, which in which words have to do everything on the page, and lyrics, which have to get out of the way for the music and let this kind of symmetry and and alchemy happen between the words and the music. Mm-hmm. And how did you find your players? <clears throat> it was really through Brad Davidson, who I'm working with. Um, uh, he he found well, he knew these guys, and he he thought we'd be a good fit, and we started collaborating on the first album on arranging because I knew nothing about arranging and producing. Uh, I was really just a guy sitting in my my room, you know, strumming a guitar and singing. Mm-hmm. So they, they, they kind of uh, turned my mistakes into happy mistakes and, and, and kind of shepherded me into the, the, the recording process. And now we're really a band in the true sense where we collaborate in writing and, and we're just we're collaborators at this point. Well, your first album was uh, in 20, 2015. Yeah. And uh, the uh, second album, Every Third Thought, uh, was yeah. just released recently. Right. It's uh, on CD, but also on vinyl. Yeah, love the vinyl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a double vinyl gatefold LP. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> you know what I think? It, it's not really a double album. I think that they just, uh, they don't cram the, the grooves like they used to. You know, I think they, they want a better fidelity now, so, so you get fewer songs on, on the Well, vinyl. they also want a cooler package, because part of the whole uh, idea right. behind vinyl is, you know, the... the uh, the, the tangible nature. Yeah, well, it was for me. It. I mean, look look what we've got around here. We've got, you know, yeah, you, album covers. Yeah, and also... The, when it was art. Yes, and, right? the, and the sleeve with the lyrics on it. Right. You know, you need a you need a telescope to re- read the lyrics on a, on a jewel box, so... Well, the X-Files, Californication, Aquarius, uh, Better Things. I mean, the, the acting credits, they just go on and on and on, and you're the only actor to have won a Golden Globe for... Uh, best actor in a television series in both comedy and drama, which reminds me, Hmm. did you vote yet? The SAG Awards. uh, (laughs) The SAG Awards voting deadline is today, 3 p.m. Well, because I want to keep my card, I'm going to have to say yes. 
Well, I want you to. Well, I mean, I, no, to I just want, I just want to remind you. You don't have to vote, but I want to remind okay. you because today is the deadline. Thank you. But, I, but I, you see, I David, appreciate that. I wasn't aware. Jim is the vice president of our SAG after local, oh. so that's why he's. I didn't know that, you. Jim. Well, I well, you know, I just want to make sure. You How know. did that happen? When did you get into politics? I said, that's not politics. <laughs> it is because he campaigns. You should see him when he's up for re-election. He goes How, crazy. How often do you come up for re-election? Every two years. He oh, goes nuts. So you're, you're always campaigning. You can't ever rest. <laughs> that's the problem with the system. No, this one rests. He's not a typical politician. Uh, now, uh, you are about to embark on a tour, yeah. and your first stop is going to be in Russia. Wow. Yeah. How and, cool. And yeah. it'll be in Moscow on February 7th. Shelley was in Moscow with Billy Joel. Really? Yeah, so the first American rocker in what was then right. the Soviet Union, I was there. And just quick story, we didn't know, and Billy didn't know, how was the audience going to react? Right. Sure. And there were soldiers lining the stage, wow. and Billy starts playing, and it's called the Bridge Tour. Yeah. And the soldiers start dancing with us in the aisles. Nice. It was extraordinary. What a moment. So you start in Moscow, yeah. and uh, and you'll St. Be- Petersburg. After that. And then St. Peter. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Have you yeah. Been? Historic city. I've, been, I've been to Moscow. I haven't been to St. Petersburg. So. And uh, Budapest. 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 I'm sorry. No. Uh, Vienna, Berlin, Dublin. Where are you London. playing in Vienna? Are you playing at the Opera House? Oh, good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's so cool there. It is one of the best buildings I've ever seen. I've, I've played Vienna before, and it was, a, it was a great show we had. We had a, a huge turnout. Okay, well, we're going to have a break, and when we come yeah. back from the break, uh, David Duchovny is going to be in the next room with his band, and uh, they will treat us to a live performance of a couple of songs. Yeah, it's our pleasure. future and the past all these thoughts on things that don't last every second thought on what's false and true every third thought on you every third thought on you every thought on what was once green and new Thoughts like colors fade to blue Every second thought feels borrowed and untrue Every third thought on you Every third thought on you Every third thought on you Why must the sky If you don't know the cost Every second thought just feels like a clue to Every third thought on you Every third thought on you Every third thought on you Why do I remain the same? 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 Why do I remain the same?
song was uh, Every Third Thought, in case you couldn't guess. And this next song is called uh, Stranger of the Sacred Heart. And uh, the story behind this song is uh, I was in, uh, we were playing music in Paris. This is where my father actually died, which is how the song starts. Uh, and um, I was just kind of in a melancholy state of mind, and I went to a church called the Sacre Coeur in Paris there, and I was told that people there don't pray for themselves, they pray for others, people they don't even know. And it struck me as a, as a beautiful thing to do. So the song kind of comes about as a marriage between those two states of feeling. And yet, it's rock and roll. Here we go. city where my father died I find it very hard to hide So many days gone by but I let it slide Family ignorance and war I keep just outside my door It's me, myself and I and Where I'll pay 
house in ancient pews and soccer I lost my pride I let it die just couldn't let it Classic Rock, Q1043.